Dice making can get pretty expensive, so let's try to make it as cheap as possible. Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing you a bare minimum guide, so to speak, for dice making. That is, I'll be going over everything you essentially need for dice making and nothing additional. This means I won't be talking about helpful additions like a pressure pot or a pottery wheel. I'm keeping it as simple as possible and just trying to give you some price ranges. So first, let's begin with some personal protective equipment. You're going to want a respirator with cartridges that are graded for organic vapors. The respirator will run you about $20, as will the cartridges. So you're looking at about $40 for both. Nitrile gloves, you can find a pack of 100 for around $15 to $20. I use these for everything, meaning casting, sanding, and polishing. Next up, you need something to make the dice out of, so that'll probably be resin. I'm not actually sure what the volume on this kit is, but this is a 2 kilogram kit for about $80, whereas you can get smaller kits like this from Art & Glow for about $35 or as low as $25. But if you want a larger kit, like a gallon, you're going up to 80 to 100. So your resin cost will vary by amount and brand, but you're looking at about $30 for a beginner amount. Then we need something to mix and measure our resin with, so that is where cups come in. You're probably going to want graduated cups. You can go for silicone or plastic. I used to use silicone cups, but I found that my measurements are just more accurate with the plastic ones, and you can reuse them to some degree. So for, for example, a set of 160 mil cups like this one, that's going to run you around $15. And they come in a lot of different volumes. So for example, 100 of these smaller 30 mil cups will probably cost you closer to like $7 or $8. And for larger cups like these 90 mil, they'll run you $20 and up, but I think 60 is a good size, so we'll say 15 for 160 mil. Then it is mix, mix, mix time, so we've got options here as well. You can just go with popsicle sticks for like a dollar, um, or you can go with some better tools like this silicone coated one. You can get a pack of four for $8 or so. Or you can go with another option like these little metal coffee swizzlers. I want to say I got like, again, five for $10 or something like that. About two bucks a piece and they're reusable, so I'd recommend it. Next, I don't want to go too in-depth about colorants because this is meant to be a, a very, very basic video. You've got tons of options. Something like mica powder will run you anywhere from five to $50, depending on what you're going for, how many colors. Resin paste is a little more niche and expensive, so we won't be talking about that. And alcohol inks also tend to run a little bit more expensive, but you can find kits as low as $10, so we'll say $10 for some sort of colorants. Next up, molds. Oh boy. Talking about dice molds, all the options and pricing out there could be a whole video in and of itself, so you need a mold, whether you make it yourself or you buy it. Now, if you Google dice molds, you're going to find a bunch of shitty little molds for like $20. Don't buy those. They're bad. Instead, you are best off buying your molds from an actual dice maker, such as Werpy Dice on Etsy or Nano Lab Maker on their own website. Otherwise, you can purchase masters and make your own, which is a greater upfront cost, but it decreases exponentially over time. If you purchase your molds, you're going to be looking at about 100 to 120 per mold. Next, you will want to sand and polish, and luckily, Zona Papers will make that very easy for you. You get everything you need in one place. You'll start with green, which is the highest grit, and then work your way down to white. By the time you get to white, you should have some beautifully polished dice. A kit of Zonas costs around $12 and will get you through many sets of dice. Once your dice are nice and polished, you are on the home stretch. It is time to paint the numbers. I use Angelus leather paints. Any acrylic will work, as well as some paints other than acrylic like enamel, although they are more difficult to work with. You can get large amounts. You can get small amounts. Hey, you can even use paint pens if you want. Again, paint is one of those things with a huge price range, so we'll just call it about $10 for a color of paint and a paintbrush. 
And technically, Q-tips aren't necessary, but they are very helpful for cleaning up with the ink process. And they're not expensive at all. I like these kind of thinner pointed ones. I find them really handy. You can get a pack of 200 for like $6. In general, super useful. And I use my Q-tips with LA Awesome, which is a type of all-purpose cleaner. Pretty much any all-purpose cleaner or even Windex should serve you well, like 10 bucks. And with that, you have everything you need to make a set of dice. I do also think it's very handy to have some isopropyl alcohol on hand, cleans up a lot of stuff, and of course to have tons and tons and tons of paper towels. So all in all, if you are looking to make your own dice and you want as low of an investment as possible, you're probably looking at around $250. However, realistically, that price is probably going to be much higher. And why is that? Well, because again, this is a bare minimum guide. So if you want something like a pressure pot or two and an air compressor, that's going to run you $120 for the pressure pot and 60 to 80 for the air compressor. Additionally, if you want more than one set of colorants, and you probably will, that money is going to add up pretty quickly. If you go the route of wanting to make your own molds, you'll also have to pay for master dice and silicone, so that's going to be more expensive up front than just purchasing molds already made. If you want other additional materials like mylar or holographic flakes, all of that is going to add up. So with the understanding that you can make dice with around $250, realistically your minimum investment is going to be closer to $500, that is all I have for you in this video. As usual, I hope that you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye